Well, there was a giant new update to our game Planet Crafter that we've been playing, and this one brings some interesting things like a machine optimizer, but look at that on the bottom, it says obsidian. That's right, there's a new volcanic update biome in here somewhere, and I have no idea where it is. Like if I look at the map and I zoom all the way out, I'm already out. It's somewhere on the map, but I can't find it. We need to make the GPS satellite number four, and that is exactly what we're going to start with today. Fly up here, and let's see. So if I make the GPS four, we need two circuit boards, two alloys, and some other things. So I'll grab some bioplastic. Raid one of my thingamabobs for... That's methane. I want nitrogen. As I was saying, raid one of my thingamabobs for nitrogen. Pick up some zeolite, aluminum, and iron. And now I can craft up two circuit boards. Also, I believe I have a rocket engine already created and a compass microchip as well. And same with the super alloy rod. So we should be good to go making the tier four GPS satellite. Woo! Oh, delicious satellite. I will construct you. Oh my goodness, that thing looks cool. All right, click the button. Click the button. Launch into space, my man. I think that would fall off. Oh, hydrogen level low. I also like how there's no sound effect for that, but whatever let's go slurp out of my terraformed lake and now check out that map all right can i zoom out one more time whoa <laughs> my little drones are going crazy um let's see is that that might be it right down there huh i'm guessing that's it and there's a crash ship there too that could be quite fun to explore that might also i can't tell what these signals are but we're gonna try going over there oh we can scroll down a little bit yeah i don't remember anything being that way so if we head down this direction it should be fun but before we do that i'm gonna build up a or get the stuff to build a teleport Porter, because last thing I want to do is to be stuck at the edge of the world with no way to return. So I can build that now. It also takes 276 energy per second. So we're going to check out our energy levels to make sure we don't die. Available, Thir or 11. Yep, that should be enough. And if we're going to do that, we might as well get a tier three mine or, or extractor. That's what I mean. And I could get two of them. Osmium rods, iridium rods. All right, iridium rods, super alloy rods, and then craft up an osmium rod, grab an abu load of titanium and then grabbing some osmium from in here why are these guys so lazy though can you guys get to work my guess is is because some of these things are clogged up with resources oh well not my problem right now that's a later problem so now that i have enough resources to build two ore extractors and a teleporter i should probably grab a snack yes honey cooked beans delicious i can't uh i can't seem to eat that <laughs> Oh, I can't. Never mind. I'm just the dingus. All right. Now we fly out in the way. I think it's this direction. Okay, so I think that's the ship that I saw on the map, but I don't know if this is the volcano zone. Okay, I see a little bit of fire poking out. So this must be the volcano zone. Oh, man. That looks a little bit scary as the <laughs> shadow kind of fades in. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, this place looks a little bit terrifying. My goodness, we're just going in the heart of Mordor right now. So there is this ship here that we're going to explore, but I want to find the obsidian. Okay, that's cobalt. We have generic iron here, which makes sense. There's silicon. Ah, uh, nope, that's a that's a bird thing. Ooh, I saw it. Did you see that? There's like a sparkly thing. It wasn't a bird, it was a caterpillar. Oh, hot dang, this is the obsidian. I don't want to touch it. No, that's iridium. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's like an obsidian cave here or something or if the only way to mine. Oh, there's a there's a little place down here in we go. It's scary time. Okay. Oh deep dungeons Okay, this literally a box right here with nothing in it. Nothing on the table. We're going down another layer Is that it? What is this thing? I don't know Hmm cool some water bottles. There's a message to read cabinet in the background open it up uh, hmm, terror tokens, 100. That's actually kind of nice. We'll grab everything just in case we need it. Oh, we're deep inside the lava. I didn't recognize that before. Can you imagine the air conditioning that they had to have in here? All right, let's uh, disconstruct. Ooh, deconstruction chip two. Maybe we'll find one of those? Nope, just more terror tokens. I don't need any of that. But the Tusca seeds are nice. Okay, this place is a little bit scary. I'm gonna jump out of here. I mean, it's in the heart of a volcano. I don't want to survive in that. No wonder it got abandoned. Oh, that could be, is this obsidian? Yes, I found the obsidian. Hot dang, we did it. Okay, so this is where I want to put the teleporter and stuff. I'm just hoping I have enough power for two drills too. Okay, teleporter. Oh, I don't have any more osmium. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me right meow? That's terrible. Oh, balls. Okay, whatever. We'll place these two down next to each other. And we're just going to tell them to start mining. Only... Yep, yep, yep. We only want obsidian from you. So I have a different idea. If I somehow die, then I teleport back, right? I mean, does that mean I get to go swimming in the heart of Mount Doom? Oh, here we go. <laughs> the one ring to rule them all. Uh, where... Maybe there's just like an osmium on the ground. I could pick it up. Kind of doubt it. I mean, that's cobalt. This place is amazing looking though. Hot dang. Oh, I heard a door open. Is this the, is this where we go in? <gasps> okay. Oh man. <laughs> in we go. In we go on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Uh, the lights are still on. That's a little disconcerting. Open door. So, okay, the lights aren't on anymore, but I want to deconstruct these chairs and bring them home. Okay, please, one osmium. Thank you. It's not osmium, and I don't really need any of that, but I'm a hoarder. So you gotta just leave me alone for a second. Okay, I think we can deconstruct this. Nope. There, we can deconstruct that one. This is a maze in here. Okay. I don't even know what to expect. Is there anything cool around? There's a, another place to go up to a different bridge. We have a box. Oh, energy multiplier fuse. Interesting. I'll take that. I'm actually a little bit concerned about what that means, though. Hmm. There's some good stuff here. I'll just uh, take the the tokens. Good. Ah, circuit board. Ooh. Osmium rod. <gasps> yes! Wait, no. <laughs> I'd have to deconstruct it to make it work for me now. Go to the next floor. This place is scaring me. I swear if a monster jumped out and, like, attacked, I would not be, not be good right now. I mean, it is spooky season after all. Oh, interesting. This requires a fusion cell. Don't have one of those, but we might get to turn it on. So I don't know why that spaceship crashed here, but I'm glad I wasn't on it. Maybe I was. Okay, found a teleporter. It will take me back home. Lots of osmium here. I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna build another teleporter. Oh, wow. Why didn't I bring any resources with me? Hot dang, gave me two more of them. Oh, I put them all in the other crate. That's right. And a zeolite. Thankfully, those are easy to come by. So we'll slap down another teleporter, just like that. And then I'm gonna deposit the rest of my resources wherever they go. Plants in the plant hole. I'm gonna put this energy fuse in here too. Maybe not. I'm gonna put it over here, because then I can remember where it is better. One of my least favorite things in the game is fertilizer. And my second least favorite things is these mutagens. That's why I picked them all up. Now I can big brain myself and uh, deconstruct that and I have the proper resources in my inventory. I can also chow down on some eggplants, then take a quick swig of water again and head back to where I was going. And if I remember right, just right around this corner somewhere? And there's our obsidian farm. Cool, so let's build the teleporter again. We're gonna rotate it so as soon as we can come out of it, we can go directly up on here. We're gonna pop into here and rename it Lava Land. Cool. And then we'll grab all the resources out of here again. Very, very good. All right, that's mission one completed. I'm gonna grab some more of these. I wonder if there's any butterflies and frogs that live around the lava lake. Are you? No, that's just common and uncommon larva. Well, my inventory's full. So we'll telepack back home. And since this is a new resource, we're gonna make a brand new storage device right here for it. And it'll be for obsidian. Very nice. Okay, all of the obsidian into the new home you go. Something else I thought about doing was grabbing these blueprints and just checking to make sure we can unlock anything. Ooh, oh, the map, wow. Okay, that would have been nice to have like, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. Ooh, and then an interior wall, I don't care about that. But I do like unlocking these blueprints. Oh, no more, okay. We'll just put that back in storage for indefinite periods of time. The fun thing too is that map takes obsidian, so I should just be able to craft that up. Neat. And then that goes here. Do I need a bigger exoskeleton? Is there an exoskeleton four? No, only goes up to three. Backpack? Do I have backpack tier three? You know, I got backpack tier five. Okay, so I've got pretty much everything. I can also craft up the micro trip deconstruction. Cool. And then I'll just put that back in. I don't really know what to get. Oh, there is an exoskeleton three. I only have two. Oh, great. I knew that would happen. <laughs> Everything just kind of spews out everywhere once you take your exoskeleton off. Happens to me in real life too. Inventory's full. Okay, let's make up exoskeleton three. Good. 
we'll attach that over, really, attach that here. Good, I have a feeling there's one underneath that. Nope, there isn't. All right, it is time to make the machine optimizer. Find and insert fuses to boost the performance in nearby machines. Explosive powder and obsidian. We have plenty of obsidian, so it takes three of them. Let's double check on our explosive powder, which should be back in, yep, we got two of those. And then was it a uranium rod? If I remember right, we have plenty of that too. Might as well grab that fuse I had as well. That's kind of expensive. I wonder if I can get more of those by trading. But we have our power supply here, right? These are all of our power generators. So let's just try, find insert fuses. Okay. Wow, that's not a huge radius, but, hmm. I wonder, can I put it on the roof somewhere? On another, can I just attach it? Oh, that's actually not a bad spot. Try to get everything we can in that radius. Neat. I mean, this is for power. Whoa, okay, everything went green. I don't think we need more power though, do we? Like, that's the one thing I don't need. <laughs> 4,000 kilowatts available, wow. All right, I wanna move it. So let's just deconstruct this. And if I remember right, deep in this forest somewhere, could be here. Yeah, these are all of our industrial heaters. There's a lot of them here too. My goodness. I just packed everything as close together as humanly possible. See if I can slam this thing in somewhere. I mean, I could probably remove one. That'd be the easiest, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take out that heater. Oh, okay. I see, they're all together. And then if we put this down in here somewhere, like right here, cool. Put that back in. And I might be able to shove the heater back in somewhere. There's tier five heaters. I didn't know that. And there's so much smaller. So our heat is at 3.39 million per second. So let's go build that heater outside of that range. Just, I can't even, there's too many buildings here. So it's just time to deconstruct everything that I can fit in my inventory. And we're gonna move this whole, oh, balls. The whole farm out of the forest, cause this is dumb. Is that the heater right there? Did I make another heater? Yeah, that's a heater. All right, we're gonna slap another one right next to it as close as we possibly can. Good. And then we're gonna shove this thing deep inside the middle of it right here. Excellent, we'll put that in. We'll shove the energy multiplier inside of it. And then I'm gonna try building more of these. I have a bad feeling that what I'm about to do is gonna tank my entire power supply, but it's worth it for that greenhouse gas effect. Delicious. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's double it up. We'll put another power supply or another heater here. Man, these things are big buildings. My goodness. Right, as close as I can so it gets that boost. Yes, industrial size. Oh, I'm, I'm dying of lack of water poisoning. So I guess that means we just make some nuclear fuel generators to put right next to our other ones. Like the easiest thing to make in the game now. Power restored. Yeah. And our heat is now at three or five million compared to the 3.9 million we used to have. My goodness. It really makes me wonder though, can I build those fuses? There is a nuclear fusion energy cell. We should do this and bring it to the ship too. We can also check out here if the tokens, ooh. All right, plants multiplier fuse. Oh, interesting. Performance nearby machines. So that's for the plants, interesting. These things are really expensive. Current inventory value of 600. Huh. So we can really optimize things. Cool. We're gonna launch that one up because it's full of juice. So is this one. Launch that rocket with my valuable items. We'll build up that fusion energy cell. Give me that. And we're gonna teleport back to our lava land. These things are almost full already too, which is cool. Okay, we made it in. Let's see if we can find that reactor and turn it back on. Or maybe not, because it might be a bad idea. We might awaken the Borg. I mean, I've played enough sci-fi games to know that this is a bad idea to do. Open it. Do I need another one in there? What's it doing? Uh-huh. Oh, it's fused in there. I need another one because there's two. Thankfully, for some strange reason, it's super easy to craft these things now that I have this mega base going on. Oh, cool, these things give me circuit boards. They're kind of expensive. So I guess let's put the other energy cell in, load it up and see what's gonna happen. I think the lights are turning on in here a little bit better. We have red lights anyway. Okay, did extra doors open? Extra doors did open. I know that one wasn't open before. What is this? Can I open that? 
Open big safe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> delicious, 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 delicious. Yum. I don't care about eggplant seeds, but these are cool. Production time divider in 0.25. Okay. Energy multiplier, power multiplier by 150. Oh, that's really fun. I wonder if that's the one I got on the other one. I didn't recognize when I put that other one in that there were more than one thing. That was cool. Uh-oh, hydration level low. Um, I didn't bring any water. So I got the thing that's supposed to multiply the machine power. I do that right here. That's the only constructor I have. So, I mean, I might as well put this in. Now the production time on this should be so much faster. Yeah, that's going way quicker. That's cool. Aha! Terra tokens gained. That means my spaceships came back. Woo! Or one of them is coming back. There's the other one. The other thing is that these things are worth a lot of Terra tokens. 6,000 value on them compared to like 13 on those. So I can do the thing I wanted to do before. Place that down in here. Then we're going to boost all of our power. Ah, forgot it. Do insane levels. Ooh, we could actually put two in there, can't we? Because there's three slots available. 5,200. And if I slap this one in here, I could even move things around. It'd be even more powerful. Ah, uh, yeah. 19,000 power. <laughs> 19,000 power available. Wow. Interesting. I never need to build another nuclear reactor again in this game. So yeah, my friends, that is it for this video of PlanetCraft. We pretty much hit everything in this update. I know there's like a frog and a fish that we could find, but I'm not going to do that today. If you'd like me to do that, you'll have to let me know down below in the comments. And as always, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Ben, Auto Dave, Dickie J, Teddy Hippius, Ninja, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Ritla Warrior, Keegan H, Zarna, Maxer, Rao, VC Engineer, Sakars Marks, Spencer T, Whiskey, My H, Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brad Dolphin, Sikander D, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Place, Fussy Badge, Sniper, Link, Kyler J, Jaden A, Nitro VR, Nitrox, Eli M, Toxic Wolf, Rune, Wyatt K.